Hi hey friends, uh, this video the topic is let me play that audio clip. Pedophile. Pedophile. Yeah, so the reason why I am playing, let me explain. <clears throat> it is not necessarily that you need to pronounce exactly the same. Okay. So, some countries they, pro they pronounce or they call uh, something different. So, that's the reason I took it from the, um, uh, we, the Wikipedia and uh, the reason I played, that is the reason. Like if I say uh, pedophilia is, a, is a some people call in some countries spelled as uh, alternatively. It is not just like uh, what you heard in the Google, right? Pedophile. You can call it as a pedophile and uh, also the same, uh, anyone. It is not, that means in English uh, it is pronounced by different countries, by different dialect people in a different styles. That is point number one. So, point two, the reason I am making this video, uh, I don't want to take anybody's individual names or uh, anything. Okay, but I just want to create uh, some awareness video for my followers or subscribers. Point one, point two. Recently, something happened in uh, America, and uh, suddenly one particular community, Indian community, got shocked. Okay, so that is the reason I am making uh, uh, this video, uh, especially on the front of uh, educational awareness, but nothing more than that. So, the, apart from it, I think I might have watched uh, cops uh, catching uh, uh, adults who are interacting with uh, underage girls like um, 13 or 11 or underage, under 18 in different countries, Canada, US and uh, UK. And uh, most of the accused are uh, Indian community and mostly on uh, non-immigrant or immigrant visas okay that is uh, that is another point and uh, before i get into the uh, the in-depth of the video so the, let me read because i googled it i took it from wikipedia and also from other sources and uh, I, again like i said i don't want to take anybody's names to divert the topic or uh, uh, give any chance for uh, scope for anyone to attack okay pedophile or like i said right pedophile you can say pedophilia is also some countries they call is a psychotic disorder in which an adult or a older adolescent experience a primary or exclusive sexual whatever lots of definitions on the wikipedia but whatever i find something like an highlighted ones i want to i typed in MS Word document in my own uh, standard of typing English. So basically an adult man likes a, in the brackets I put wantedly for my uh, when I read lust, L-U-S-T, lust you know right, unending. It's like thirsty, like when you feel thirsty, you take one bottle or uh, it's two bottles, three bottles, but if you start drinking unlimited, so some, that's called uh, in sex for sex it's called lust basically an adult man having lust for a girl child who is about to get poverty i wrote in my own english style from the wikipedia what i understand um, some adult men maybe around age 40 to 50 i don't know the reasons uh, let me go one by one so that person will have an disorder mental disorder point one and he wants to have a sexual conversation with a girl who is about to get a poverty but before her poverty a two years down the line he wants to have a sexual in interaction first and then sexual intercourse also exactly the moment she gets poverty that is the disorder point one point two a disorder come a serious crime okay Next causes, although what causes pedophile is not yet known. So in the history, it started somewhere in uh, 1830 and uh, there is no evidence 
uh, why uh, this cannot be cured so they don't find any evidence to cure it and uh, uh, pause a second that's the reason whatever i watched all the videos posted in the cops websites or cops youtube channels uh, when they catch and uh, arrested these people i think again and uh, pedophile or pedophile is not a legal term but often law enforcement they use this uh, informally and uh, next is uh, so when they catch when they take them to court with all the evidence then uh, the judgments whatever i read or we can find it on google or uh, youtube videos of the cops not uh, any tom dick and harry so they might have at least 60 or 70 years or something like that a jail term that means mostly they will die in the jail because already 40 to 50 right you had under 60 years because it is because lack of cure lack of uh, what do you call so if you release he will do release from jail he will do the same thing again and uh, one of my american follower attorney on uh, twitter now i called x posted uh, he may release because the, the jail inmates may not like indian communities uh, what the article says okay that is one and uh, the next one recent one uh, the impact uh, the recent one is an indian community one uh, how uh, the problem is uh, people feel shy to inform that is the the victims because under age right but whereas in uh, uh, where i watched some of the attorneys videos they said 70 to 80% may not report and uh, mostly uh, in western countries the divorces and uh, parents are uh, different right uh, like um, child a mother is from another and the father is from another like there are uh, adopted childs and all so sometimes the step father or step mother also i was shocked to know even the mother does this for the son and the father does this for the girl so it is because they are they are not their own biological uh, children so that it's uh, really shocking to me when i was hearing to some of the attorney's videos that is one another point uh, it's happened most recent one uh, the, the thing is the uh, person has one, more than million dollars and uh, uh, some people followers sent some information and they said uh, don't disclose my name he has million dollars he can kill anyone something like that so unfortunately indians think that they have money they can do anything that's happen may be possible in india but not easy in usa and uh, i don't want to take anybody's names and i don't want to put any screenshots in this video also and uh, the way it is shocking because um, people have money here uh, especially the immigrant community for the show off uh, they will give uh, iphones as a gift especially to the underage girls um, but honestly if i were a girl father of a girl child i would not accept uh, anything free um, if you expect anything free like uh, when i was living with an american landlord he is a school teacher he told i still could, could not recollect that saying anything you accept free it will uh, give a lot of damage so he gifted iphone uh, to all the girls in that community and indians call indians board houses it's called subdivision Uh, but otherwise in american terms it's called uh, community so he has gifted not one or two or 10 like uh, some media channel says it's he gifted to every girl child and uh, on the birthdays and what happened uh, one girl has forgot the iphone in somebody's house and which has no uh, see is toughest uh, what do you call screen lock there is no screen lock or there is no the toughest screen lock and the phone is ringing somebody answered it and uh, shocked to know uh, they have seen an adult man of uh, 50 plus years sending his uh, private parts uh, picture photos graphs or uh, video graphs whatever so that's how the news broke out and uh, then they talked to the girl's parents and uh, uh, it was happened maybe sometime for 2024 now it was happened 5 years ago and they in uh, indian community basically we have a submissive culture right 
and uh, whereas Americans they aggressive on their report but when attorney's video I watched it says uh, 80, 70 to 80 percent do not report do not come forward uh, that's why even in the US uh, uh, you will have this called uh, just a minute uh, what do you call in the schools also they tell uh, children uh, educate about uh, all these kinds of topics and uh, 311 domestic violence they call like uh, you cannot beat your uh, children uh, in US uh, India also but last we don't know right how far so there is a number called 1-800-A child that means 1-800-422-4453 so they have to call call the national child abuse hotline there is an hotline number for it if they call uh, they will uh, navigate the child what to do what kind of uh, things and all but the basically the problem is uh, you know, Indian community are very submissive uh, they have uh, what you call uh, social ego or a social status or a, what if, if I report uh, it, I think by the time they bought houses they might have a US passport or green cards they, they don't have an immigration problem but uh, still they hesitate to come forward and uh, to inform uh, that got delayed almost like a uh, um, two years something uh, that is where and uh, meanwhile what happens uh, the Telugu community also uh, I don't know how other uh, states from India manage it but Telugu community they formed uh, because of uh, easy money and uh, super money uh, they have tons of dollars maybe billions millions uh, then they formed uh, groups so one of the class groups I could not uh, figure it out so I do my own kind of investigation I could not figure it out uh, who is that group uh, there are two cash groups uh, one of the group has uh, min billions of dollars both the groups and uh, they went to the accused and uh, took money and uh, I don't know whether they ran away or they gave it to the victims even that is if the information is true then it is even bigger offense because taking money for uh, your child uh, uh, pedophile case from the accused is a serious crime taking money f by a cash group from an accused and uh, vanish is also a bigger crime right so maybe cops are investigating that topic whatever i am telling right now that's why i'm not taking anybody's names here that is uh, one point so that kind of things happen like in Indian community if you tell someone uh, they will say don't tell police don't tell don't report because that's a kind of culture we brought up back home might have suppressed them for uh, like this but uh, the thing is the thing is you have to report one and uh, let me tell you uh, I, generally I don't read the script only for this one uh, I wrote and uh, that shocked the entire community and uh, many people uh, do this kind of things like for example I don't uh, I don't trust any Indian woman call uncle or uh, what you call baya brother and all like uncle in the sense I've seen uh, in the communities right so it is not their fault the other man uh, give that uh, what you call a, a film hero Robin Hood give money donate uh, he shows like project like he's something great but uh, um, that's why I tell everyone don't trust anyone because you don't know right their true character and the social media they will be something offline they might be different and don't accept any free gifts from anyone no matter what okay that's one and um, even if you go for a drink parties uh, adults I'm telling take 50 50 charges why should somebody has to pay you pay for your drinks so then uh, that is one they give uh, grifts and they show off and uh, whatever they do bad uh, to the underage girl if the underage girl tells anyone tells anyone they don't believe it the other party because and the public media for example if I take some name a famous name and tell he is like this off the screen but uh, people will scold me or kill me because uh, he has a good impression in the society so that is the kind of thing is happened in this case and uh, they were shocked and uh, that's why you cannot uh, 
a tribute uh, money uh, as one character or uh, um, one money and uh, uh, name and fame so that this gentleman has donated lot of money to uh, political parties and uh, what not so that is one and uh, in the multiple counts of child exploitation abuse and uh, the next one uh, the families get imp impacted a lot problem here is the child uh, future is spoiled she, ecologically she affects a lot and their family got uh, disturbed a lot wherever they go people will say like that so there, there is a high chances the whole family may get into uh, depression right so what if if this van holds a software company and a ceo or something like that unfortunately most of the indian community register the uh, consultancies on their spouse name but they operate it uh, on american road we don't register, register companies as minor minority something like that so uh, that is another aspect of free money and uh, recognizing the under red flags how do you recognize so one of the biggest steps we can take society is recognizing signs of abuse here are some of the common red flags so how do you uh, recognize sudden changes in the child behavior this is for the parents of the girl child unexplained fear of certain people or places withdrawal from the family or friends knowledge of adult topics inappropriate for their ages physical signs such as uh, bruises like bruises or injuries i mean if you notice these signs trust your instincts take an action don't assume someone else will so you have to be uh, step in and uh, report without any doubt and uh, like i said earlier report reporting and legal action is very important you have to report i've seen see i've reported about corrupted hiring managers i don't know whether a ba or courts take an action or not but reporting is my job right as a woman being i have to confront that's the only thing and uh, when hiring manager ask for uh, Uh, the indian corrupt hiring managers ask for bribes like kumar your hourly billing is 100 50 is mine give me that so every one hour when he come to uh, my desk and i ask so i have every evidence i have taken it to the court but uh, it cost me a lot life also but still i don't want to give up i don't want to fight uh, it's really not easy if you complain uh, it's like you are triggering the bullet you don't know in which direction it goes you have to gather evidence you have to have a patience you should not be talk about that subject in the social media you should not write so many things it's not easy and uh, your all family members relatives will come and say because indian mentality is treat victim as accused accused as victim so in this context though law is ultimate in america america is beautiful because law is strong but still it is very difficult to come out and report so that is where i'm place in this video if you are girl child you have to take care all these things what are the other precautions i will tell you uh, especially don't attend any indian community unfortunately i have to tell this because you never know you mix with your uh, adult age uh, people and uh, drinks and all like men right so you never know what happens to your wife and uh, especially your daughter so they mix their uh, and the mainly the event coordinators are the community president community in the sense that particular caste or region or language or the national that community i mean so they are president or vice president or whatever the designation event manager event coordinator they touch every babe i've seen com- some videos uh, singing competitions uh, they came from india and organizing it they touching every teenager it's not Uh, that way works in america you are not supposed to touch anybody's child who is under 18 right so if you touch it uh, comes uh, as a offense so but i don't know they are doing it so that is where it starts like uh, the event they act as uh, um this thing very closely something like that then conclude what is that i want to conclude is it never easy to talk about topics like this but breaking the silence is the most uh, first step towards uh, this change and uh, the more we educate ourselves and raise awareness uh, the more we can protect vulnerable children and bring justice to survivors 
so please share this video with your friends family and it could save your life that is the together let's create a safer kinder future for our children so that is the core purpose of uh, this uh, video and uh, thank you for watching my videos and also if you found this video is informative don't forget to like share comment and uh, subscribe stay safe and remember your voice can make a difference and uh, when i conclude i want to tell you just in a nutshell whatever i said i've seen more than dozen videos more than that maybe two dozens of videos some they call pedophile and the some nations they call pedophilia there is nothing wrong how do you pronounce in english right uh, because each country their language dialect and uh, this is different and uh, adults man has a lust not everyone okay they have a, a lust mainly the research i did on this topic so they want to have a conversation with a girl who is about to get a puberty 9 to 12 min between and then they want to really fuck so that is their core intention and there is no medicine for it there is no cure for it that's why when they put behind bars they they are gone they are never they will never be released so that is the main core intention they it is because they are disconnected from their spouses that is the wives and they may not have a um, sexual course with them daily or weekly or monthly whatever they last it one two they want to have uh, or they lost interest on their spouses they got suddenly interest on puberty girls that is the research i found there is no cure for this there is no evidence it can be cured um, that is the reason uh, they are putting behind bars see this may be subject to corrections my analysis might be right or wrong but whatever i understand from the videos of attorney videos of cops i was till now for the past and the content i read on wikipedia and the news articles i read all that i don't have source of information currently except the wikipedia one wikipedia you can type in google right all that club together i'm giving it in this video to you for you to understand what is that i did research on this topic very sad thing is i don't know in india like in western there is a separate ops department is there especially to monitor adults who are chatting with the underage so whenever you get a text message from any unknown number just report as spam because you never know whether it may be that particular department is trying to uh, chat with you some online online so never ever chat so earlier when i was in facebook i only chat for h1b topics no other i always recommend people to send an email and when i connect on zoom call only uh, especially on h1b topics or immigration then only i talk further because i without seeing them i don't know right and i don't entertain any of the video 18 people uh, i don't even chat okay so that's my i put that uh, as what you call a block right so uh, like that you need to have if you chat you don't know what they chat what they ask suddenly you are in restroom or they are in restroom they call a video call they might record and then they send it to somebody or you get fucked up so don't do those that's called any trap i don't want to bring that topic here but you got to be very careful and you especially if you are a girl child if you are a father or a mother you have to take care of all these things so otherwise you never know what happens right and mostly american schools educate children but as a parent you have to take responsibility see registering in the indian community groups it might be any group cash group regional group or long ways group is number one fault like for example i took my son for telugu long ways to learn uh, for 5 years is fine up to there only i didn't go beyond that so if you register in some particular cash groups because i am from cash particular cash community community is a different meaning so i register so i go there then the the president or event managers or somebody will come to your house when you are not there you think that is a great guy rich guy then he will touch your daughter somewhere else so that's what happened this man at least gave a com- in his community 
every underage girl he gave he gifted an iphone can you imagine how many people are there in a subdivision a community 250 houses so what is the use when a person has uh, millions of money so don't please don't write one email saying that that person has more money sir uh, humanity compassion empathy these three are important man she has millions of money but he got arrested and put in jail what is the use so that is what uh, you need to see and uh, anyway this is mainly for uh, an awareness video please like comment share and uh, share it to the maximum people and uh, when uh, before i conclude i am not sure whether i read that uh, uh, news let me scroll yeah a recent uh, troubling case involving uh, like an american style i'm reading it a telugu man in the us highlighting issues of child molestation the individual has been accused of inappropriate behavior with an underage girl in <coughs> an incident that has caused shock and concern among telugu community and beyond the case has generated sorry j- sorry j- the case garnered attention not only to not only due to the seriousness but also because of potential impact of reputation of immigrant communities this is the you have to stress i will re- i will read again because that is the major core uh, problem okay gained acquired okay the case has acquired attention not only due to its seriousness and also because of its potential impact on the reputation see of immigrant communities it's gone the reputation is gone because of one case right such incidents emphasize the importance of awareness about the legal and moral standards governing behavior in the us especially among immigrant groups who may experience cultural difference or feel disconnected from the local norms so don't think coming to america is just easy if you are girl child you have to take uh, first you have to watch this video man you have to take these precautions so learn about the case and its legal development you can follow detailed reports available on news platform like uh, again i don't want to read the news platform name because uh, some people may get offended and all i don't want to give any acknowledgement to some indian news papers here so that's the reason i'm ending it here so comment like subscribe comment if you know more than what i told what i said or if you have similar cases heard but not beyond uh, anything else thank you once again um, i i believe this is very informative and basic awareness whatever i like i said right uh cops videos articles are read for last 16 years and the uh, cops videos uk canada and uh, uh, us and uh, uh, indian attorneys some of the indian good attorneys videos and wikipedia so four parts i put it in this video thank you